Welcome everybody. Thanks so much for coming. We're so excited to have you here uh, this morning. Um, it's we. This is supposed to be an annual thing, but the last two years it's been an online thing and not a banquet that we get to share a meal in together. So this is exciting that to be able to have this event in person again um, after two years of not doing it. Um, my name is Troy and Grayson. I'm the campus minister for his house here at SVSU. Uh, my wife, Heather, is right over there. She's wearing purple. Um, she's also a campus minister here. And I'll tell you a little bit more about his house in general uh, after, uh, after we show a video. Um, here's a little schedule. We're going to have a few testimonies of a freshman and upperclassmen and and alumnus, I think they actually transferred, but we consider him an alumnus. And um, we're going to show a year-end video. This is a, a video of clips that we've taken since last, last May. Uh, all put together, it's about 25 minutes long, and it moves really fast because people took a lot of videos. So um, it, it's fun to watch. And then after that, we'll I'll explain a little bit more about his house in general, and we will have an offering, and then we'll conclude with one song, and I will give some instructions for lunch after that. So, um, Caitlin, are you ready? All right. This is Caitlin Yammer, our, our first freshman uh, test.
Next we have our upperclassman, which is David. David Morris. I was going to find that 
within his house. I was going to find that within the embrace of his. Um, I can't sit here and explain to you every situation or experience we have, um, because I'll be here for hours and speaking to you guys for hours, and I don't want to do that. Um, but what I will say is that um, I used to not have community. I used to not have real friends, people that supported and loved me. Um, but I found that within Hess House. I found that with many people and experiences here. Uh, I never had the opportunity to go overseas to um, be a part of a ministry until I got in his house. I got to go to Germany. I got to go to New Mexico. And throughout those different experiences, they taught me so many life lessons and uh, that I still like, remember to this day that I can sit here and talk to you about. Um, I, I also built so many relationships here that I still am um, I'm still talking to people for the rest of my life. I'm still learning from these people, and it's just a really cool and unique experience that I'm super thankful for. And I'm, it's so cool to come back and still see um, so many people here are part of this amazing community, and you guys are so willing um, and wanting to be here. Uh, it's amazing. It makes my heart feel so warm just to see how God is still blessing this ministry and blessing the people. <laughs> And yeah, I just want to thank you guys for allowing me to be back and be a Lord again. Thank you. So I like to let the video pretty much speak for itself, but a few things that I point out is this group loves Jesus, uh, this group loves community, this group loves international students, and uh, in Great Mission. Jesus said, go make disciples of all nations, uh, baptizing them and teaching them to obey everything. Uh, so it's both the outreach and the growing deeper part together. Um, a little history about his house. Uh, his house was started, it, it's a statewide ministry. It, it was started in 1969 at Michigan State University and uh, is at 12 campuses currently. Is that yes. And uh, thinking about another month, um, most of the public universities around Michigan and hopefully expanding to the Detroit area sometime soon. And um, it is a support-based ministry, which means basically it's like an overseas missionary, but domestic. Uh, our, it's like a missionary in one sense, and in another sense it's like a church, except our congregation is made up of mostly college students. So uh, we depend on the support of the, the generosity of other Christians who believe in the mission of what we're doing on campus and, and give to support that. Um, we started the ministry here at SVSU in 1999. Um, I was actually the associate campus minister at CMU. That's where Heather went. We have a couple of our friends from there in, in the back, parents of our students. And... Um, yeah, uh, that, that year I was at CMU, but came over here twice a week to see what we could get started with, as, with uh, his house over at SVSU. And so I've been full time here ever since then, and Heather joined, she was always doing it, but she joined the staff at some point until I'm away. Um, so, what we do with funding, um, all the staff raise the support, and uh, the offering tonight isn't going towards our our uh, staff salaries. Um, the offering we're doing tonight is going to go towards our bikeathon. You, you saw the bikeathon uh, earlier on in the video. Cycle the campus. It's actually going to be hosted here this year in, in Saginaw, and um, it's an opportunity. It's a statewide fundraiser to raise funds toward his house. Um, we will be donating the first $2,000 that we raise back towards the statewide ministry. It'll go towards budgeted items. Whatever we raise beyond that um, gets to be used, goes into an escrow account that we can use for special things on our campus, like sound equipment or discipleship books or retreat scholarships, band maintenance, stuff like that. Um, and so our, our, we put our offering from this this event every year towards that cycle of campus. So we usually get somewhere close to that 
2,000 mark, and then every all the students who join our team, all the fundraising they do gets to go right back towards our ministry. So it's a great uh, blessing in that way. And yeah, we want to again thank you. I'm gonna give some instructions for lunch after the our last worship song, but. If, if you don't have the means to give, we want to bless you anyways with a meal ticket, and um, we, we just want to be that blessing to you, uh, and we, we roll the dice of what, whether the net income is greater than our cost to the, the cafeteria, but it, it's, God's blessed it every year that we've done so far. And um, if you are a student on campus, great if you could use your swipe because that's as good as a donation to uh, for tonight or today. Uh, if you have a huge declining balance left, you could maybe use some of that for a family. Um, but otherwise, it, it's our gift to you. And we're going to um, pass some, some boxes right now. If, if you have cash or check, um, I don't know how many people still use that, but we're going to pass some boxes. There's also a Venmo, you can uh, do a QR code or send it to this house Christian culture. Or you can give it a website, hhcf.org slash give. Um, and for any of those three options, uh, if you put the SDSU celebration as a note, Venmo, a memo of the check, or on the online giving, that helps our office know where to put that. So I'm going to uh, pray, and then we'll pass those. And uh, then we'll, we'll conclude with one last song and the instructions for life. God, I thank you so much for today. God, I thank you for the beautiful weather, the, the sunshine, and just lifts the spirits. And it's, it's just such a, a blessing uh, to have that on a day that we're gathering together to celebrate what you've done this school year through your ministry here. God, uh, Pray you would bless the, the offering that happens and put it in your hands. I would pray that you would bless our uh, fellowship time during the meal that we can sit near one another and maybe mingle around at the table, table and, and uh, just get to know it, uh, one another a little bit and visit with one another. God, um, we thank you for what you're, you've done and we thank you for what you're still doing. And God, we, we pray all this. I'll get a nice close-up. There you go. Yeah, I have to...